so it seems like we got like scammed or something. So I'm in a hostel in Yerevan right now. You might remember I had a few issues with my visa for Turkmenistan. That was back in Istanbul. I didn't get the visa for Uzbekistan. Hmm. I asked an agency to get the visa for Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan and Iran for me because you need a lot of extra stuff to actually get a visa like you need a reference number an invitation we've been in contact and now they wrote me that i don't have an entry permit for turkmenistan yet in the last mail they said i would get a visa surely but now it's yeah if i don't get a visa for turkmenistan I have no idea how I'm gonna get to uh, Uzbekistan. We'll see. It's still like four weeks. So I have four weeks left to get this sorted out. So I just had a shower and I feel reborn. And there are a few things I want to talk about the train ride from Tbilisi to Yerevan. Yeah, as I mentioned before, there are different classes. They have the first, second, third, and fourth. I was in the third class. And it was really nice, there were a lot of Armenian people on the train and they were super friendly, like helping. Like there was another guy from Australia, um, the Armenians, they were super friendly in helping us with getting like sheets and stuff and everything. Um, they were really, like really cool. I was a little bit too shy to film them, like to film the interaction because I don't know, just, I'm, not, I'm not there yet. And if you need a visa, you can just get it at the border. You arrive at the border and you get out, get a visa, come back again. Um, with a German passport, you didn't have to buy a visa. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm gonna get some food. Wow. I have to say, Yerevan looks very interesting. It looks, it's very different to Tbilisi. Oh, look at this. Oh, whoo. Not bad, not bad at all. Nothing, like not as I expected. Wow. Oh. <clears throat> I feel like shit. My nose won't stop running. Sucks, man. <coughs> Take some medicine. Oh, this video will be awful. <coughs> At least I don't have diarrhea. <sighs> so this video is actually about me crying around because I'm sick. Uh, uh... Okay, so I feel a lot better now today. Because now I'm going to the free walking tour. And I kind of have to hurry up because it starts in five minutes. Okay, let's go. Tico, 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 tico. 
to the free walking tour I made it in time it was pretty good so now I just had dinner with um, with a girl I met on that tour and she told me like a few very helpful information about um, Iran so um, yeah thanks again Andrea and now I'm going back to the hostel and sleep now I'm gonna go watch something very special <laughs> interesting and actually the guy yesterday he told us that in Armenia classic music and chess is very popular so I guess he's right <laughs> so today is the last day in Yerevan I feel a lot better not 100% but solid 90 and now I'm gonna go get some money exchange some money then I'm gonna check out then I'm gonna try to find the bus station and then I'm gonna take the bus from here to Gordas in the south of Armenia. So I'm all packed and I'm gonna go to the metro, take a metro to the bus station and then look for a bus to Gordas. Cool. So if you want to take the metro in Yerevan, you pay 100 Dari and get this token. And it's actually less than 20 cents and you can basically go as many stations as there are. And I just missed my metro because I wasn't sure if it's going the right direction because I can't read the <laughs> Armenian script. Which actually looks also pretty cool. I'll show you. It's a little bit similar with the Georgian script, just a little bit. So now I just have to find the bus station. Maybe the bus station will find me. Oh, there it is. Sweet. So I just met another German traveler and we actually found a minibus who was going to take us all the way to Goris for apparently three, no, 2,500 um, dar, Dari? I forgot the name of the currency. But it's actually a little bit <laughs> suspicious because it's way cheaper than expected. On the internet it says like four, like five to 6,000. So 2,500 for a minibus. We'll see, we find out. But the minibus leaving in two hours, so we're gonna wait a little bit and yeah, see what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. So it's 
since like we got like scammed or something. I mean, we've been waiting here on this bus station for two hours now because I told us this, there will be a bus at 3 p.m. But now that it's 3 p.m. right now, they told us the bus is full. Like, I don't know if they're serious about it or if they just want us to, you know, take a taxi instead and like, yeah, pay more. But yeah, well, this happens. So now we're trying to get a taxi or something. Oh, yeah. Oh. So after half an hour of negotiation, we finally got a taxi, like, not a real taxi, I think, just someone, random guy's car, about to leave. Okay, so now we're in the car, let's just get this over with.